so the next topic is the selection of bearing from manufacturing catalogs till now we have seen the dynamic load static load selection of bearing the equivalent dynamic load and all these things we have seen we have seen the different equations also now how these equations are used to select a bearing bearing is nothing we can design it it is already designed and it is been manufactured as per its standard definitions only so the selection is important for bearing that's why it is shown that how to select the bearing life how much life we have to select and based on that we have this catalog the basic procedure of the selection of bearing from the manufacturing catalog is shown here first step is what calculate radial and axial force acting on the bearing and determine diameter of the shaft where the bearing is to be fitted these things we needed that is the diameter of the shaft and the radial and the axial force this is important here this is important and diameter of the shaft is important second is the type of bearing for the given application there are list of bearings are there and based on the application we have to select which bearing we have to use suppose you have selected a deep group ball bearing so determine the value of x and y based on the radial and the thrust factor if only radial load is there then there is no need to find out the x and y factor and if only thrust load is there that then also it is not really uh, not necessary to find out the x and the y factor definitely we can go for it if it is both the types of loads are acting at that time we have to find out the radial and axial load and based on that fa upon fr and fa upon co we need to find out the selection of the bearing is therefore done by trial and error methods it is shown in the table so the bearing of light series such as 60 is selected for the given diameter we have already seen the well, uh, table for x and y and that table is number 15.5 here so the calculated equivalent dynamic load now we have the x and y factor find out the equivalent dynamic load with the help of this equation this equation help us to find out the equivalent dynamic load now make a decision that the expected bearing life as i told you that we have seen the, the selection of bearing life here in step 5 we have used that part that expected bearing life is l10 in million revolutions we have to select based on the experience and to find out the calculated dynamic load based on that l10 value we can find out the dynamic load carrying capacity and once the dynamic load is known to you at that time you can select the bearing suppose we have selected a bearing of 60 series that is a deep group ball bearing and a required dynamic load then the calculated value you have to check with the values in the table it is a trial and error method so whatever the value of c you will get the table which i have shown in the equivalent load equation in the video of equivalent load in that table you can select based on the dynamic load if suppose dynamic load is six uh, fifteen thousand so based on that fifteen thousand newton you will select a bearing okay so diameter of shaft is also mentioned there based on that you will find out that you have to select a based on the dynamic load only you need to find out that we are going to select a light series medium series or heavy series bearing okay thank you very much